So, I, and, and, and that was great advice that you all gave us leading up to the tasting to not try to guess what it is and make your note fit. Trust yourself that we become great tasters. Um, you can get points and, and write your conclusions very well and you know, quality and all of that. So, um, so I was able to do that, but then I think I ended up, I got six out of 12 wines correct as far as grape region, but it would have been 10 if I didn't erase or cross out the correct answer <laughs> and put the wrong one down. Cause I second guessed myself for some uh -oh. reason. And I mean, one that two that stand out is, I mean, the first wine I, I in the country flight, I, it was the white. I went with that first. It was a white, two reds. I was like, I know this is Albarino. I drink a lot of Albarino. I love Albarino. But then something made my brain go a different direction, maybe with the reds. And then I was like, well, this is France. So it has to be, this is Sancerre. <laughs> I changed in my answer. And then same with the Tarantas, which I had tasted the night before because I did some tasting the night before. I changed it to Gewürztraminer and they were like, a couple other things I changed. So, but I still got married on the tasting, right? So as to your point, but it's just those kicking when, when the list of wines comes out, you know, the next day or whatever, and then you start looking, even though you felt like you did a good job on tasting and you start kicking yourself, which you shouldn't do. Um, so that was sort of my early moment. Don't try not to second guess yourself because your yeah. gut, answer, if you've been practicing tasting was probably right. 